So this is a brief synopsis of page Pe Gimel in the Kote Torah of Chumash Midbar, starting with the end of Pe Beis Amud Dalit. So the Pasuk says, L'chul lachmu belachmi, that the Torah is called bread, both Hashem's bread and our bread. What does it mean that it's Hashem's bread? Because Hashem, in terms of this Pasuk, is referring to the level of Malchus Vatzilus, who is called a supernal level of man, because it's this level that comes to create this world in a very intimate manner, and therefore it's compared to man in terms of having uh, the idea of the eyes of Hashem, the ears of Hashem, these are different aspects that come into creation. So this level of Hashem gets spiritually nourished through the Torah, because the Torah and the mitzvahs that we do are using physical objects. These physical objects have their source in the spiritual level of Nikudim which is associated with the realm of Toyu, and that is higher spiritually than the realm of Atzilus, which is the realm that we call the level of Hashem that is called man, the supernal man. So when we fulfill these mitzvahs, we are actually bringing about a greater revelation into the, that very level of Hashem. That's what it means when it says that when we do a mitzvah, we get the reward is the mitzvah itself. That means that revelation that comes into Atzilus, into that spiritual realm of the divine attributes, filters through Atzilus, comes into Gan Eden, and the Neshamas in Gan Eden experience that very revelation that they brought about. In addition, they also receive, through fulfilling the Torah and the mitzvahs, spiritual nourishment, which is why it's called bread, and that is they achieve a level of rot and elyon, a higher will to serve Hashem. This is the Pasuk Midabra Moshe al Roshe Hamatis. That means that Moshe can bring about a Rosh, the head, which is the, associated with a skull, associated with a desire to serve Hashem. He can bring that into the Matis, into the, uh, the Matis refers to the Shvatim, but it also refers to the Midos, to the person's character. And it also refers to the Mata, which is a strong stick, so it's the strength of character. And it also refers to the Mata, which is the staff of the Torah. With the help of Moshe Rabbeinu, we can achieve a desire to serve Hashem that is beyond our regular desire, and that can filter into our, meet us into our emotions in a very strong and powerful manner. The Pasuk says, Ish ki yidur neder, that a person uh, who makes a vow has to make it by saying that an item is like a carbon, which is something that he brings holiness into. Just like when you make, when you say something is a carbon, your mouth brings holiness into that item. How does it do that? The truth is that that item, that sacrifice, that animal or whatever it is you're sanctifying, has a higher spiritual source than a person does. But that spiritual source is not revealed in this world. By saying it, the power of the mouth is to bring about the revelation of that spiritual source, and that brings it to have revealed sanctity in this world. The same is true when a person makes a vow not to benefit from something. He's recognizing that that item has a higher spiritual source than he does. He doesn't want to ruin it by consuming it in a manner that's not appropriate. And therefore, when he makes the vow, he actually brings holiness into it by saying it's like a sacrifice, recognizing that holiness and therefore separating from it. The author points out that nowadays we do not make vows because we don't have that same power to bring such holiness into the world with our words, and therefore we say, Beli neder. The next mimer talks about Isha Kisida Nedel Hashem, a woman who will make a vow to Hashem. The woman is referring to the Jewish people who are called Knesset Yisrael. We are like the woman in terms of the relationship with Hashem. But it says that in the future we will call Hashem our man. Why only in the future? So the Alterba starts to explain that the future redemption is going to be everlasting. It's associated with Yaakov Avinu, who is associated with Torah and with truth which is something that is everlasting and never stops. And at that time specifically, we are going to be able to say to Hashem that He is our man, so to speak, in terms of our relationship with Him. We're going to learn more about this in the rest of the Mimer.